how you doing? This is Chris. And I'm Angela. And this is the Spice O Life. Life. Yeah. How you been doing, Angela? Been doing pretty good. Season two. This is season two. And what you're going to do? Episode 5 1. What you going to do when they come for you? (laughs) 5 1 5 1. And thanks for hanging in there with us. You're very welcome. Thank you for hanging in there with her as well. Hanging in there with us with the spice of life, Chris yeah. and Angela. Yeah, yeah. What you been off to doing this off season? <laughs> off season. Yeah, doing mm. the off season. Been trying to get my health straight. That's what I've been trying to what? do. What? Yeah. What thing are you doing? Because it was cricket. So what you trying to do to get it straight? Been trying to cut back on my salt intake. You know, the salt getting to me. Yes. At first, the sugar was getting to me. I know. I you told me this thing. You said, sugar. Chris, stop kissing on me. So I'm not, not <laughs> a, you got rid of the sugar. What else? <laughs> that is salt getting to me. I got to cut back on the salt. That yeah, salt is catch a fire or something. Yeah, that salt getting I to said, me. Oh, what is a fire? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So you've what, been salty. It, what, now, what was it? Yes. Yes. Been too salty. Been yeah. too salty. Gotta, yeah, I get gotta, that. I've seen that. Got to get a get. I got to step back from all that salt. So yeah, she's not a, not herself when she's salty. Yeah, yeah. So trying to um, make some better choices on my health with the yeah. salt. So yeah, that's good. That's good. And you just you in the thinking about it phase, the planning phase. Or are you actively doing uh, these things? I can say that this is new to me because it's um. And I'm I'm going to tell you this. Uh, it's harder to me, maybe maybe because it's new to me, but I think it's harder with the salt intake, trying to reduce your sodium, than with the when then with the sugar. I think right, right, because it seems like everything has sodium in it. It's like oh, yeah. ugh, like you know, you go, you like you think something don't have sodium, and you look at it, wow, it has a lot of sodium in it. <laughs> Like, where so all that like, sodium where come from? Are, like, where all this salt come oh, from? Man. It sure t- don't taste like it got a lot of salt. Mm-hmm. So that's telltale sign that, hey, I've been having too much salt and, and stuff. So, so it's too much. Increase. Yeah. Well, the way that you battle that is you increase your water intake. So I've been mm-hmm. trying my best with that. So mm. we'll see. It's a battle, <laughs> but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah, working on that's it. good. That is very good. I think that it's going to work out. Uh, drinking a lot of water helps cleans yes. out clean out the salt and the booger. I mean, and the sugars. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> boogers. Some, uh, some booger sugars. <laughs> you are crazy. Um, no, it helps clean out the system and things like mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. and helps get your mind right and get you to a point where you can start thinking straight. Yes, and have a good balance. As all things should be, um, because balance you do need both. Key. Yeah, balance is very important. You need sugar for energy, which your mm-hmm. body, you know, makes everything into sugar. Mm-hmm. And of course, you need salts, salts for some of the health purposes, yeah, um, and hydration and all those things. Yeah, you got to be balanced. Or lack with thereof. That. I just don't want to uh, go back for my checkup because I go back in a few days and they tell me that I got to be on some medication. I don't want to be on no medication. I've never been on no medication before. So don't want to be on no medication. Yeah, I have a couple appointments myself. Yeah, one uh, in regard. I have to set. I gotta. I to call them, but I have to call another person to set up mm-hmm. to thing with my teeth, and then uh, of course my physical health, which I think is on Thursday, so a couple of days from now. Let's get physical, physical. <laughs> you need to get a physical. Yeah, physicals are very important. In fact, that's why I discovered some things about my the, the, the salt stuff, the things blood about pressure stuff. The salt? Yeah, the, the decrease in the salt with the blood pressure issues that I have um, with the physical. So it's very important that, that you go and have those physicals. Because you have to take care of your physical fitness. Physical fitness, yeah. Yes. And one of those things, and one, let me tell you guys, uh, one of mar- one of the markers for a physical is a colonoscopy, and that's something that I went through this summer, and um, the the only thing that was bad for me that was very hard to do was taking that magnesium. Mm. Ugh. 
Lord have mercy. Yeah. That stuff is nasty. Uh, it's very nasty. Why you say that? It, man, is, is it what was in it? Or is it just, did you take it a pill or powder? Or? It was liquid form. It was a Ooh, 16 ounce. That's okay. Yeah, you had to take it straight up. I had to take it, and I had to take it two different times. Uh, 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 like, I had to take it at 5 o'clock in the evening. And then I had to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and take another 16 ounce. Uh-uh. Oh, my goodness. Uh-uh. That stuff clean you out. They, they need you to be cleaned out. So they can stick that camera up you and make sure that they're looking up your colon, make sure that they see everything and make sure that you are okay. So I got a clean bill of health on that. So squeaky clean. now they did go down on the age as far as when you're supposed to have those. Right. So now I think the age is 44, 43 or 44. Now it used to be 50. Now, one of the things that the the lady told me that was eye opening is that she had a twenty something year old in there, and the only reason why they gave this person a colonoscopy is the fact that they had some symptoms. But I went in there at three. You know, I was going in there just to get my, you know, my little diagnosis. You know, it was a you know a few weeks later, and they were just telling me. She said I was the only one. I, I went there at three o'clock. I was the only one that was getting a clear bill of health, and there was plenty of people that came in there before me. And that Lots of them. that was eye opening for me. And I am almost fifty, and that twenty something year old did yeah, not get a clear know. or clean bill of health. He was, no. I think, they was in their twenties, early twenties. So, guys, it's very important for you to go and get checked up, get checked up, get checked out, or whatever. Do what you got to do for your health. Um, there are a few other things that I got to do um, to make sure I get an overall, you know, uh, what you call it, checkup, physical. <laughs> um, but I appreciate my physician. Make sure you have a good physician and make sure that you – are getting these things done. You know, there are things that women should do. I am of a certain age. There are certain things that you should do. I got to make sure that Christopher is getting his things, you know, things that he should do done. Yes. Because <laughs> some people, you can easily get a bill of health, but really you want a clean yeah. bill, of, <laughs> bill of health. Thumbs up. They yeah. can always get that bill of health. Yeah. You're going to pay. You're going to get that bill. But yeah. So cool. there, there are things that I know because we moved and we having to go through a change of, of doctors, you know, mm-hmm. trying to get, mm-hmm. you know, doctors that are closer. Just like barbers and, and hair appointments and nail appointments. Well, we'll talk about that later because I'm mm-hmm. just telling you. It's hard to find what? those. Yes. Mm-hmm. I have to travel for those. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. but, or, or, Stick to what you what you what you have. Yeah, go for what you know. You, we'll talk about that. The pandemic just changed a lot of stuff in that regards. But right. For physicians, I don't think we ever, before we even move, I don't think we ever had like a really good physician that we was going to before. You know, as far as physician, not that, that I can remember. To. No, we ever. never had. Yeah, you know, so that's why we kind of searching for good ones, and. And one thing that we're doing this time is going by word of mouth of people that we know, of friends that we know around in the area that telling us or tells us or give us a good um, idea who who are good, you know, who's a good dentist, who's a good doctor, you know. Even if we have seen some, you know, we go to places that are more convenient, you know, especially if, you know, a doctors that are close by. It was easy to get to this appointment, especially when you're at work. You know, you just you know, oh, let me just uh, get in and then get out. <laughs> but making sure that you're getting these, um, like the the colonoscopy uh, doctor that I was referred to was really good. Um, I'm very, uh, I'm telling you, I, you know, Christopher had to come with me because you can't. You can't just go there by yourself because right. they're gonna put you. They're gonna put you down. They are putting you under. Put, I'm sorry. And not put no, you down. it's put you down. Oh, put you down. Oh no, it's, they it's do put you down. Then put you under. <laughs> not like down, down, but I'm they do sorry. put you down. So it's nothing to say. But but just to go with what you said, they put you down. Yeah. They put you under. Whatever you want to say, how you put it. But the main thing is that you have a partner. They have somebody there to support you yes. and make sure that you get from point A to B. In that, um, you know, 
that everything is done safely for you. So, yeah, that's important. Yeah, because. Um, now, there's some people in bad shape, and they may have to put them down, but real, <laughs> they start off by putting you under. Now, my um, that was my fear. Because anesthesia, I don't that like being put, put under. Oh, I don't okay. like being put under. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Um, mm -hmm. But they helped talk me through it. Mm -hmm. They were very good. They, we got gastro, whatever you call those doctors, kind of doctor. There was a really good doctor. Yeah. Uh, those those types of doctors. Well, the anesthesiologist was pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. They taught me through. They let me know and the everything nurses and the helpers. be done. And, mm -hmm. and you know, what that... It was in. That was I, and as soon as I woke up. It wasn't a very groggy, you know, waking up. I was up. And I was like, oh, it was. It's done. That was it. So the like I said, the worst part about the colonoscopy was that that solution that I had to drink. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's important. We we're just going through and getting our physicals and making sure that we're healthy. So that's what we've been up to, um, and we're gonna stick to that and then trying to eat, you know. Eat, eat well. Um, I'm trying my best not to <laughs> exclude stuff from, from um, you know, exclude. Well, if I have to, like, for example, I'm, like I'm telling you, I have to watch my salt intake because of my blood pressure um, and trying to eat a well-balanced meal, you know, eat healthy. You know, salt, reduce. Cause they, they didn't say exclude salt. It's hard to exclude salt from your meal because it's not healthy to exclude it. You just, I just have to make sure I'm making a, the best choice and I have to reduce my salt intake. So that's what I'm having to work on and increase my water intake. So that's a challenge too. Yeah. You want to hear a story? Yeah. Want to hear about it? So here you go. <laughs> there was this um, mother, she had twin sons, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they both had to get packages to uh, the store at two different stores, mm -hmm. pretty much at the same, around the same time. Um, it was important. Mm -hmm. It was almost life-saving packages. And she told them both, hey, you know, you go here, it's towards that direction, mm -hmm. get that package, and, and they need it there by you know, three o'clock. Told the other twin the same time, the same the son the same thing, but that you gotta go this way and it's life changing and urgent. So they both left and went their separate ways. And <clears throat> the the one that went to the right um, encountered a mountain. Um, but he was like, man, I got to climb this mountain to get all the way on the other side. But obviously, my mom's believe I can do it, or else she wouldn't have sent me to do something. She she believe I can do so. I'm I'm doing this and mm -hmm. tough through the mountain and and all that, and and it was snowy. It was a high mountain. Mm. One of those where you where, and and but they were ready. They were prepared. They pushed through it. They said, "My mom believe I can do it. I'm gonna do it and get it done." Mm. And as you know, simultaneously, while the other twin went the other way, mm -hmm. he came across a a meadow, a hill. Hmm. And as he come across the hill, he come across the beautiful birds and the, the butterflies and the rabbits and, and just all kind of fauna and beautiful stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's enjoying it. Like, well, this is amazing. Wow, mom must be really, like, knew I was going to probably enjoy the scenery. Mm -hmm. And let me take the time to, hey, little bunny, start playing with the bunny and stuff like that. But anyway, both of them uh, eventually got to their destinations but the one that climbed the mountain got it there on time. Hmm. Why do you think that is? Hmm. Probably because they, maybe they just, they they focus and just. But why wouldn't, they uh, why stop. the one they that climbed stop. the mountain got, got the important package there on time? The one that had the hill, the metal hill did not. Listen to the conversation. So. And I'll tell you the moral. The one that climbed the mountain was thinking about what mom said. Right. Just thinking about not disappointing mom. Thinking right. about mom believing exactly. in the fact that it could be done. Right. And they focused. That made that they gave them the determination to get it done despite yeah. didn't even think about the it other twin, distracted. what the twin was dealing with. Right. Didn't think about, oh man, this is I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Did she not know? Didn't think about their own problems. Mm -hmm. They just thought about getting it to her. 
in the belief of what mm -hmm. their parents said. The other one thought about, oh man, I was thinking about me. Yes. And things that I enjoy, things I know she must know I like. Mm -hmm. And not thinking about what was said to them. Right. And the importance of information and the thing the fact that this is life saving. Yeah. One was more self centered, the other one was more selfless. Yes. One didn't use something as an excuse not to get it done, whereas the other one let themselves be distracted. Yes. And that so goes life. Basically in life, brother, you have hard things, soft things, good, easy. Everything is on us. No matter it how is. tough a situation, we can have the most craziest, traumatic, and I'm not belittling anything that people have went through in life, whether it's as, as children or as adults. But in the end, it's on our own personal thinking how we get through things in life mm -hmm. and how we endure and how we perceive it from the moment we're alive to the moment we're not versus how we can use everything as an excuse not to do anything and be the that most is, that is so true. victimized person on the planet. That is and so the reality true. is that every human being has some ordeal, and I would never compare mine to yours. You should never compare yours to mine. But also, if it's, if somebody believes in you, take that and believe mm -hmm. in yourself. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a nice. I like that. That is good. And that's one yeah. to grow on. It is. I totally agree with that. I can. I'm going to grow on that one. I can give y'all all kind of excuses why, oh, man, you know, I'm a gain weight or I'm too much of this. But it's it's just on me. Um, my goal, especially as we go in, you know, the end of this year, going to the new year, is to not make excuses and to be able to set an example for my uh, family, for you guys, and, and even for myself that, uh, hey, if you believe it, you're going to see the journey, you can do it, and let's just do it together. You know. Yeah, because one thing, too, is that I wasn't expecting to, you know, not only do I have blood pressure issues, of course, I got cholesterol issues, so I wasn't expecting any of that. My A1C is good, <laughs> which I thought was going to be probably bad, but it's good. Those Everything else is good. So I got to watch out for the other things. So now... You know, I wasn't looking for these, those two numbers to be the way they were. But, hey, they're there, so I got to deal with it. Um, but one of the things that I always put on myself that I'm not going to do this time is deadlines. I say, well, I'm going to lose this amount of weight during this time. I sh you, you shouldn't do that, you know what I'm saying? Because I would say this, the way that you eat, it should be the way that you eat regardless. And your weight should be that way regardless. It's, it's according to how you eat. I shouldn't eat a certain way. I shouldn't be on like a, uh, I shouldn't be on a certain type of diet and then stop and then eat a certain way. Because guess what? My weight's going to, my weight's going to be according to how I eat. So right. if I'm going to eat a certain way, that's how my weight is going to be. So Whatever way I choose to eat, and and uh, by activity, Christopher and I we do a lot. We we do a lot of walking. Sometimes we can't get out there as much as we, especially during the winter time. But unless we, imp, let's just say improvise, we have a way of, uh, you know what, we're gonna get we're gonna get on a treadmill, or we're gonna do some other things while it's cold. We're gonna do some other things to kind of get ourselves active. You know, during these winter months to keep ourselves active, you know, to make sure that we are still burning calories to um, help with maintaining our, our weight or help with our physical fitness or our health, then that will help. But I'm trying to get to a point where I'm not concentrating on that. I'm just living my life. <laughs> I'm getting tired of, of that. That's a mental health thing for me, you know. I have a lot of things going on that I don't I don't want to sit there and worry about what, you know, I just want to be happy. You know, I want to be happy. I just want to live my life. I don't want to, you know, I got to worry about my cholesterol and my <laughs> and my blood pressure. I want to make sure those numbers are good, but I want to make sure I'm eating in a certain way to where I'm, you know, taking care of those things, too. But in a helpful way uh, where I'm not just like, oh. This food sure tastes bland. <laughs> oh, this is nasty. Oh, this food is nasty. Like, mm -hmm. I made some spaghetti the other night. 
And Chris was like, this is the best spaghetti ever. I mean, I've never seen him eat the spaghetti yeah. the way he ate the spaghetti. I mean, he tore it up. And I just improvised the spaghetti just a little bit to kind of make it, you know, She's healthy. not going to tell me what she did. <laughs> I just tweaked it. I didn't do much to it, to be honest uh-huh. with you guys. I just kind of, you know. Put it in that slow it. cooker. <laughs> I didn't do much to it. You know, it I just, slow. you know, it was simple. Yeah. It was a minimalist spaghetti. It was minimal. So you you're know? trying to say I'm a simple guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was mindless. It was. It took no brain activity at all. And I it didn't was even a, put a lot. It did. It, it, did, was, it was a dead was, spaghetti. No, if you think about it, Christopher, it wasn't a lot of seasoning. It wasn't a lot of Good, salt on thank it. Thank you. Let's say so. It was some seasoning on there. It was seasoned. Like just the way it was I want to taste balanced. my meat. I just seasoning on the seasoning. <laughs> and, that's what, and, that's what. and keeping with me and 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 my goal in trying to reduce my blood pressure, oh, my no, my couple, my um cholesterol, and I have to cut back on red meat and uh, you know the salt and all the sodium and stuff. So red meat and you know pork and all that other stuff, I gotta you know reduce. So I didn't use ground beef in the, in the spaghetti. So when people what? say when people say you use a ground, <laughs> one thing that one thing that's, what? that's funny is that um, my daughter, our daughter said, you know, she didn't like she don't like using ground turkey for some reason. She like you use ground beef. Somebody, well, ground somebody was in dry. there eating Talking it. about dry, right? I'm like, well, you okay? Uh, that's probably how you cook it. You know, there's certain way you can cook stuff that don't it don't taste okay. dry, or whatever. But right, that spaghetti was made with ground turkey. Wow, okay? it, it was delicious. It was delicious. Delicious. I kind of made the noodles a certain way. You know, it was Talk very no, no, very good. No, no, for you, you perfection. You yes. know. Yeah, you did a great job. Thank you, you really outdid yourself. <laughs> no, you do a good job cooking. So I'm trying to find ways. I and, trust your cooking. And what we're going to do, guys. You know what I'm saying? We do have cooking shows. We're going to do more of those. But also, um, because we got to cook better. You know, I got to eat better. We have to eat better. <laughs> yeah. I got to take good care of this heart of mine. It's this healthy heart. Got to get this cholesterol. I got to keep it that way. Mm-hmm. Um. We're going to do more shows, you know, cooking, and we're going to showcase a lot of things, and I'll make that spaghetti again. Show now, you guys. with the shows, were you thinking about doing it where we're, like, actively talking in it or do, like, the voiceovers? And I can tell you which one I like. You want to know which one? Which one you like? I like the voiceover yeah, more. Yeah. And, and we'll show and, you and different doing angles. The quick, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll show you more quick, angles, quick yeah. yeah. We'll show you more angles, and we'll do a lot, a lot of voiceovers. Because a lot of stuff, like, do. I know I make... Or I cook or whatever. The prep is usually the most time consuming. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. The prep is more time consuming, but you you guys need to see what we're doing in the prep. But because yeah. we want you guys to see uh, how we're preparing heart, what do you call it, heart hearty or healthy foods, we want to show you what what we're. What well, you want to say? It's the it's, it is still delish. Yeah, delish. And I'm just telling you, I, yeah. I can't eat foods that are not, you know, that don't have a taste to it. My food has to have a taste to it. So, you know, whatever spices, there are spices out there that, is, that don't have any sodium on there that, that will make the food taste good. I mean, it will taste good, but without all that salt and stuff, without, you know, stuff that tastes healthy, but, you know, it will still be good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think that it's going to be a great season. Another great, not, but it's not going to be overly seasoned. <laughs> oh, you know what? That goes with our name. So we're going to combine our spices together. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be good. Yes, it's going to be mm, good. Life. So what what we're going to do is, um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. You know even on, on some of my podcasts. And there's a lot of things that we're going to do a little bit what different. Was, what were some of your favorite meals from last time that we've done, that we've made? Now, let me tell you. Now. Here we go. I love, I love bisque. 
Now we did like a. Our Georgia bisque. Yes, I like the bisque. East Coast Georgia, y'all check that out. East Coast Georgia sure bisque. Maybe put the link in the description, but it's in it's in there. If you can't, yeah. you know, just go click yeah. on our subscribe. Yeah, go to our cooking show playlist. You'll see season one, season two. Just that was fun. Watch, watch them all. That they was all fun. are good. East Coast Georgia bisque, and I also love the um, the the Berea Berea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that one I like that show because the meat. Let me tell you, that was the first time we I want to taste the that, meat, but that meat, taste the meat, that that meat that we used. I mean, it was seasoned through and through, and we used all sorts of spices. You're that welcome. meat was seasoned all the way through. We didn't we we didn't have to put use not much of nothing in that taco because it it was so good Everything and that was natural. Like, yeah. It was so natural. It was so good and we're gonna do a lot more of and that then i finally like figured out how to make it crispy <laughs> crispier yeah you know you follow so you look at you research everything like some things we you just don't you know from your life experience your mama or from cooking but some stuff you re research me and Andrew look it up we research and see what's the best way and we saw this best way to make it crispy but it's like no nah, that's not that's not crispy crispy yeah and then we kind of <laughs> kept working on it and we figured out near the end Make it crispy. So some of the stuff we all do, y'all see real. That was real time us kind of figuring stuff out then. Yeah. So, even yeah. with an omelet, we were thinking about different ways. Like it was ways I made an omelet, ways Angela made an omelet. But we figured out. Oh, I was figuring out. Oh man, we can do this and that. You'd be surprised things you can just figure out by working together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we like to combine different things too. You know, combine different foods. Like with that omelet, he mentioned the omelet. I thought about the apples. Like who would yeah. put sliced apples? With the omelet. Who would eat the sliced apples with the omelet? Mm -hmm. Another thing we're going to be doing this season is interviews. Try yeah. to interview more people, get more people involved. I think we did a few a few seasons ago, especially around the cooking show stuff. Yes. But you can look back at those. There's some really good interviews. Yeah. But we're going to try to do more interviews, more interviews with some of the things that's going on with our family members. And then just some other people that have things going on that are interesting to us that uh, you guys going to, I think you guys will find interesting. Yeah. And it's going to be so much f u n yes it's gonna be a lot of fun guys this season and also too let me add this um uh, we've been doing a lot of restaurant reviews as i shouldn't say we didn't do reviews we just like we'll go to the yeah. restaurant we'll just show you what we eat do some short but and we should me, do more shorts on that yeah but do we on. do shorts I wonder if we should just do reviews. We should talk, talk yeah, about Yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell you, we've done a few. I love reviews. We just didn't do that many. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we should, we're going we to we're, we're, we're gonna go a little bit more in details in, in the restaurants that we go to. But we're going to kind of venture off because there are a lot of, of other restaurants, different types of restaurants we want to venture off into. Yeah. So different places we want to try. Y'all know it. Listen, and we want to be vocal know. about them and what we think about them. You haven't heard our little voices and what we and think. And anybody that knows me know that I will be straight up. Yes. I am now, we did, going to tell you real, not just to say something, just to say it. Now, we did in people. the beginning, when we first started, we did talk about the food. Did we the did, food truck did, kind of review. The food truck review. We did do that, but we didn't do the, the restaurant because we right. ate there. But what we're going to do, we're probably going to do a Grab little bit it more. And yeah. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to do a little go. bit. But one thing, I'm, I am going to tell you this about the brunches and the mimosas. Mm. Them mimosas are uh, now they don't keep it real. Those are no, those don't be the mimosas. Those be the the lusses. Those be the for fake fakes. <laughs> it's not a mimosa. I don't know what it's not a mimosa. No, uh, it's very. Rare. It's a few times I can probably count on my one pinky how many times somebody had a real mimosa. Other times it's been like uh -uh. you want a mimosa, and then yeah, then they bring. I you think some it was fizzy. only one place that we even lipping. went to that that really was true to their. True to the I'm game. Like, this as far is so as what wrong. This serving. is not a mimosa. Angela. Right. Yeah. And then, so. then, then the price. Oh yeah, they <laughs> like, want to charge. Well, let me grab my million I'm dollar like, coupon. Cause this is crazy for nothing. Anyway, yes. don't even get me started. <laughs> but a lot to look forward to. Yeah. Guys, thank you for joining us on our first episode of our second season of yeah. the Spice oh, Life. Bye. Yeah.